I've always been wondering whether I can use my electric blower and attach it to my bike to power the bike. Every time I use a blower, I can feel the force blowing back at me and it's pretty strong. It's like a recoil from a gun. So maybe I can use this effect to power the bike. I have three cordless electric blowers here. Two of them are Cobalt 80 volt cordless brushless blower and the other one is Greenworks 60 volt brushless blower. These are one of the highest voltage cordless blower on the market and they are probably one of the best battery powered blower in terms of output and speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach one of them on first to see how it goes. And then at the end I'll just attach all of them to my bike to see how it goes. I've never done this before and I've never even seen anyone attach three of these cordless blower to a bike. This is going to be exciting. So let's get to it but first i need to know how much blowback force these blowers have so here is my testing rig i got my blower tied to the skateboard and it can move back and forth and when it moves it will hit my scale at the end here and that will show how much force it is on the scale so first one is the greenworks 60 volt blower this one's got a turbo mode on the top here so uh, I'm going to have to try to push it down while not interfere with the force going backward. Alright, here we go. So that was about 4 pounds of force. So the next one is the Cobalt 80 volt blower. This one does not have a turbo mode, so I'm just going to use the maximum speed. Here we go. Well, it is surprising for me first to see the green work 60 volts outperform the 80 volts. This one can put out over 4 pounds of force, whereas this one barely 3.5 pounds. And I just looked at the manual. This one 140 miles per hour at 540 CFM, whereas this one is only 125 miles per hour at 500 CFM. So this one has better specs than the 80 volts, even though it's a lower voltage. And also on the green works, I use a 5 amp hour battery. Whereas on the Cobalt, I use a 2.5 amp hour battery. And I'm pretty sure this has something to do with the output also. Because the bigger the battery, the more current it can provide to the tool. So here is the bike I'm going to use for this test. This is my electric bike that I use every day. This is the only bike I have that has a rack. At the back here, that's big enough so I can mount a piece of wood here so I can put my blower on. So to show you that I'm not cheating, I'm going to remove the batteries and leave this door open. So you can see that the only power this bike has is going to be from the blower only. So here you go. Batteries have been removed. Now it's time to do the test. So here's the first test with the Greenworks 60 volt blower. I'm just going to give it a kick start to get it started. And then after that, it's going to be on its own power. Alright, so now it's time to go all in. I got this two 80 volts blower and it's a little bit different because it doesn't have cruise control so I have to use tape so that I can tape the switch on because like obviously I only have one hand I can't do three at the same time so I'm just gonna tape these two and then I'm gonna use my hand to turn on the switch on this one
All right, let's check on the batteries and see how much juice we have left. Two bars, one bar, one bar. These blowers use a lot of power. I barely used them for like 20 minutes and these two almost ran out. This has about 50% left. So using these blowers to power a bike is extremely inefficient and a complete waste of power. To put that in perspective, my 48 volt e-bike battery, 10 amp hour, I can go for about 20 miles. This, let's do a calculation. 60 volts of 5 amp hour, that's 0.3 kilowatt hour. This one is 0.2 kilowatt hour. This one, 0.2 kilowatt hour. So the total power of all these three batteries is 0.7 kilowatt hour. Okay, so this one is only 50% use. So let's say 0.5 kilowatt hour, the same as my e-bike battery. And three of these can barely get me about two miles. Whereas my regular e-bike battery, the same capacity, half a kilowatt hour, I can get 20 miles. So there you have it. Can you power a bike with a cordless electric blower? The answer is no and yes. No, if you only have one blower. It doesn't really go anywhere with just one blower. Maybe my donkey is too fat. But it will work if you have at least two blowers with a higher voltage and output only. If you have 20 volts or even 40 volt blower, I doubt it's gonna work. Overall, it was fun riding the uh, bike with the blowers. It starts very slowly, it accelerates very slowly, and it goes very slowly. But it does make a lot of noise. I reckon if you want to annoy your neighbors, give it a spin at 4 o'clock in the morning, and the whole neighborhood is gonna wake up. It sounds pretty much like this. One thing that surprised me was that I was able to get up to 17 miles per hour with three blowers because it did not even move with just one blower. And that's it for now. Hope you have fun watching and learning something new at the same time because I had fun and learned something new doing this. Until next time, thanks for watching. Well, it's getting dark and I still want to try on the skateboard. So I've got 280 volts blower. Let's try this.